Another asteroid terror, NASA spots another mammoth space rock to hit Earth's orbit five days before Christmas. Does it seem that we have more celestial objects approaching Earth? Well, Terra Black Star has a theory that it's because of our binary sun being in our area and that there will be a lot more celestial rocks towards Earth. Even the astronomers recently told us after the second interstellar comet has been found, the first one 2017, the second one recently in August of this year, by an amateur astronomer, the interstellar comet Borisov, after that was found coming in, they told us that we are to expect a lot more interstellar comets coming towards Earth. Not just various asteroids from our solar system, but celestial bodies from outside of our solar system. Now this asteroid, five days before Christmas, according to Joel Day of Express UK, is the size of the World Trade Center. It's dangerous because its earthbound orbit could see the rock possibly smashing the planet during Christmas. The asteroid is 2162582006WH1. The closest approach to Earth will be December 20th, that's five days before Christmas. It's 540 meters, that's about 1,500 feet across, and it's the same size as the World Trade Center. And of course, it would cause a significant amount of damage and mass extinction. It's right now thought to be hurtling towards us at a speed of 43,000 200 kilometers per hour, that's 26,843 miles an hour. The asteroid's path could be influenced by the natural phenomenon known as the Yarkovsky effect, which we recently found out about around July 25th. That was after a 40-foot asteroid that was supposed to pass beyond our moon into the depths of space. Didn't do that. It changed its trajectory and came careening into the Caribbean Ocean. And that's when the astronauts came and explained to us what the Yarkovsky effect is. An effect occurs when the gentle force of the sunlight heats up the surface of the asteroid, causing it in a way to be as if it's bombarded, and it tumbles on its axis, leaving its trajectory and, of course, falling into Earth. So the influence on the asteroid was demonstrated back in 2012 with a mastoid 1999 RQ-36. Scientists using the Yarkovsky effect were able to estimate the most accurate determination of an asteroid orbit to date. Asteroids larger than about 35 meters across, about 100 feet across, pose a threat to a town or a city. And this means that this one that's coming up, the 216-258-2006-WH1, which is about 1,500 feet across, would likely cause havoc across our whole globe. Now, the asteroid has not yet been measured on the Torrio impact hazard scale, but will likely be listed as serious threat when it's added. A stripped-down version of the Torino scale was presented to the United Nations back in 1995. The revised version was presented in 1999 at a conference on near-Earth objects. And at this conference, the uh, scientists voted to make their revised version the main scale that scientists would be using to refer to when labeling threatening asteroids uh, that impose uh, uh, threat to our Earth. The system has an integer scale ranging from 0 to 10 with associated color coding and if currently captured, uh, it currently captures the likelihood consequences of potential impact to, uh, to our Earth. Now on a 10 scale that means the collision is certain, which is capable of causing of course, of course global climactic catastrophe 
uh, furthering the uh, the future of civilization would be ended if we know it as we know it, and whether colliding with land or ocean, uh, that would create extinction level events. Such events occur every average of about a hundred thousand years, they say, or less, on a scale corresponding to a routine normal discovery, the normal terminology came about in 2005, when one on the scale initially meant events meriting careful monitoring. And uh, this meant that uh, the press coverage of the scale, one asteroids were relatively common, so the terminology had to be changed to normal so as to avoid stirring mass panic and attention. So for these asteroids, calculations show the chance of collision is extremely unlikely, so there's no cause for public attention now. The new telescopic observations will lead to reassessment of those originally classed as level one, and they may be changed to uh, even a level zero. Organizations like NASA and the European Space Agency, of course, have uh, asteroid tracking systems to uh, watch and ascertain near-Earth objects passing close to Earth. Near-Earth objects are all comets and asteroids with orbits approaching Earth's path around the Sun. NASA said NEO, NEO, including any asteroid, meteor, or comet orbiting the Sun within 18,600,000 miles or 30 million kilometers of Earth's orbit, and out of 829,361 known asteroids, that's almost a million known asteroids, and about 3,192 known comets in the system, more than 20,000 space rocks are marked as near-Earth objects. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.